good morning dear students today i shall begin a new talk a uh, new chapter basic geometrical concept uh, this is chapter number 11 in for pa2 you will have to study this chapter uh, when we meet uh, in our offline class on 7th 7th december i shall show you how to measure a line segment and how to draw a line segment with given length so our first chapter will be first topic will be uh, today the polygon what is a polygon so a polygon is a closed figure that means there is no opening in the figure you can see polygons are always closed figure simple closed figure no two lines cross any other line in the figure they do not cross each other and it is a closed figure a polygon must have a three or more than three line segments we cannot draw a polygon with two line segments because we cannot draw a um, polygon a closed figure with two straight line lines so to be a polygon these lines has to be straight lines and it should be a closed figure so it it is a closed figure and the lines are straight lines so we cannot have a polygon like this we cannot have a polygon like this all the line segments should be uh, straight lines in our figure a b c a b c it is having three sides what are the sides a b is one side a b is one side then b c is another side and a c or C A is another another side. So we are having three sides in a triangle, three sided polygon. In our four sided polygon, this P Q R S it is having four sides. Four sides. What are the sides? P Q Q R then R S and S P. So these are the four sides P Q R S polygon is having. Next is what is a vertex? So these are our sides. These are our sides. What is a vertex? Here A is a vertex because a b and c a or a c meeting at this point these two sides are meeting at this point this and this side are meeting at this point so a b and c are vertices here you can see that r q and p q these two sides are meeting at this point Q. This side and this side meeting at this point R. This side SR and PS. These two sides are meeting at this point S. The same way SP and QP. SP and coming, uh, meeting at the point P. So here in this uh, polygon S, R, P and Q are vertices. So I hope you have got the idea what are sides and what are vertices of a polygon. Uh, we have to find the sides and vertices of a square pentagon and hexagon in pentagon 
we have five sides penta means five and we are having five sides in a, a pentagon hexa means six that means we are having six sides in the figure for a square all the sides all the sides are equal length is of equal length uh, can you name the sides as i have told you um, at the beginning the side of the square is p o one side is p o comma then o m is another side then m n m n and then n p are the sides of the square given to us what are the vertices as i have told you this side and this side meeting at o so o is one vertices this side and this side meeting at m m is another vertices this side and this side is meeting at n n is another vertices this side and this side is meeting at p so p is another vertices the same way we have a b is one side then b c then c d d e and e a or a e e a i am writing the vertices are a then b c d and e for a hexagon the sides are p q r then r s then s t s t and t u and u p so we have six sides for the hexagon 1 2 3 4 5 6 what are the vertices p q r s t u p comma q comma r s t and you are the vertices so for a square we have four sides four sides four vertices in a pentagon five sides five vertices in a hexagon six side and six vertices like that you have to uh, name the sides and vertices if any figure is given to you and what is a diagonal if i uh, connect the opposite vertices i am connecting the opposite vertices in the figure and o and p m so diagonals diagonals for this square we have diagonals p m opposite vertices i am joining p and m so p m and n o n o diagonals for this square here i am doing some questions from activity 3 question number 1 i have to check if the given figures are polygons or not as the condition i mentioned in uh, at the begin beginning of the class to be a polygon the lines should be straight lines you, you cannot have a curved line here in these two figures a and c i can see a curved line here also this is one curved line there is no straight line these two lines are not straight this line and this uh, part is not straight lines so a and c are not polygons a and c are not polygons 
this figure B is having all the straight line, so B is a polygon. You can check uh, question number one and um, you have to do it as your uh, classwork. Question number three, you are given a figure PQRS one quadrilateral, quadrilateral means four sides, the figure having four sides. You have to identify the sides. What are the sides? As I have told you, P, Q, the straight lines are the sides, P, Q, this P, Q is one side, Q, S is another side, S, R, another side, and R, P is the fourth side. What are the vertices? The lines meeting at the points, that means P, Q, S, R, these four points are vertices. Diagonals joining the opposite vertices, joining the opposite vertices are the diagonals. What are the opposite vertices? P and S. So diagonal is P, S and another is R, Q. R, Q, these two are uh, diagonals in our figure. Opposite sides, P, Q is opposite side of rs it is in the opposite side of pq so pq and rs pq and rs are the opposite sides a p r and q s this side is opposite to this side so p r and q s are opposite sides of the quadrilateral adjacent sides what are adjacent sides uh, sides those who are uh, adjacent to each other pr is adjacent to rs that means they are um, uh, they have one common vertex pr and rs these two lines are meeting at r so adjacent sides are P, R and R, S, then R, S and S, Q, R, S and S, Q, then S, Q and P, Q, S, Q and P, Q, then Q, P and P, R. Q, P, and P, R. I hope you have understood what is adjacent sign. That means they are uh, joined by a, they are having a common vertex, this side and this side having a common vertex R, this side and this side having a common vertex S, this side and this side having a common vertex Q, like that. If two sides are having a common vertex, then those sides are called adjacent sides. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in uh, our offline class, during our offline class. Uh, for homework and classwork, you have to do activity 3 from page number 121.